This is a re-upload from my old channel showing the first amateur rocket into space in 2014 over the Nevada desert which shows the moon over Australia at a specific time where it shouldn't be viewable on a globe earth. So I'm going to play this video and after the video I have some commentary about someone trying to debunk this as truth. There's disinformation agents out there that don't want the truth to be revealed. Now take a look at the video and remember to watch the very end. I came across this very interesting video by a guy on YouTube named Reefy and he came across a video by Kai Michelson who has the world record for amateur rocket launch going up 73 miles into space back in 2014 and the very interesting part of this video the time frame that rocket was launched over the Nevada desert the moon was over Australia and on a sphere earth there's no way it's possible that the moon would be viewable so to me this is one of the best videos you're going to see confirming the flat earth hello guys after three months of investigating on the flat earth model I finally found the 100% proof that the earth is not a globe and that's how I found it this video is called go fast 2014 you can check out the full video link is in the description basically this video is a world record for the highest private rocket ever launched into space and you can see the full flight without any cuts filmed from three onboard cameras. The highest attitude is about 120 kilometers or 73 miles. That's so amazing, I always searched for a video like this. Unfortunately it appears that the camera have fish eye lenses, however the earth still looks flat. I was watching this video at least a hundred times and analyzed it frame by frame hoping to find a proof for either the flat earth or the globe earth model. And then it hit me. The moon. You can clearly see the moon in this videos. Would that even be possible if the earth is a globe? If I check the position of the moon at the date and time the video was taken and it turns out that the moon would be underneath the curvature, it would prove that the earth is not a globe. The video was shot on the 14th of July 2014. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the time the rocket was launched and I would need the time to get the exact position of the moon. So I started investigating to find an approximate time when the rocket was launched. I found this video that was taken a few moments before the rocket was launched. I did two circles around the rocket. landed safely. Now the next morning I did a short flight just before the rocket launched. Did you hear what he said? He said the next morning I did a short flight just before the rocket launched. That means the rocket was launched somewhere in the morning. It looks clear the sun is already out so it can't be that early in the morning. However after the launch they were flying in a helicopter to see where the rocket comes down. For a split second in this video you can see a GPS device in the helicopter which shows the time and the time is 11.40. So the launch must be between approximately 8 o'clock at the morning and 11 a.m. The rocket was launched in the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, USA. In July, Nevada's time zone is Pacific Daylight Time, which is UTC-7. Now, 
Let's check out where the moon was at this time. I'm using timeanddate.com and trying to find where the moon was on the 14th of July from 15 o'clock UTC to 18 o'clock UTC. As you can see, by the time the rocket was launched, the moon was in this area, right over Australia. So, if the Earth is a globe, it would be impossible to see the moon from Nevada because the moon would basically be on the other side of the globe. And now I'm going to play the unedited video by Kyle Michelson with this gold rocket going into space over Nevada. And he does confirm under the comment section of this video that that was indeed the moon that was captured by his rocket camera.
Now take a look at this disinfo agent trying to disprove the truth. They work hard and they deceive people because those people, they don't pay attention to details. Take a look. Uh, website that he was using. And I type in the date. The date's correct. Type in the time. The time's correct. That's not an issue. Type in the, you know, approximate location. For the yes, approximate location. Well, it just so happens a little off is a lot off. He knew the rocket launch was over the Nevada desert. He purposely put Albuquerque, New Mexico, because he knew the outcome would be different with the, with the position of the moon during the time and location. This is how disinfo agents work. They deceive, they're easily deceived because they don't pay attention to details.